Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a fascinating question from a developer looking to streamline their firmware release process. The question is, how can you include git commit hash and branch name in your C or C++ source code without tracking it in git? Let's break down the challenge. Our viewer is working with embedded processors where traditional methods of tracking firmware releases, like meaningful file names or checksums, aren't available. They want to ensure that the compiled binary can display crucial information, like the git commit hash and branch name, directly in the application. Currently, the process involves manually updating version strings which can lead to discrepancies between the code and the displayed version. This manual approach is not only error prone, but also impractical for frequent updates. Our viewer is seeking an automated solution that integrates Git information directly into the compiled code. In this video, we'll explore how to automatically embed git commit information into your C or C++ applications, ensuring that maintenance personnel can easily identify the firmware version without the risk of human error. Let's dive in. Welcome back to another technical video. We're gonna go through the question, the answer, and I hope that you get the solution. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and work your way through to getting to that end resolution. Let's get started. To automatically include Git information in your C or C++ code, we can use the preprocessor to define macros that capture the commit hash and branch name. Next, we will set up our build process to populate these macros with the actual git information. This can be done using the git command line. Now let's see how to implement this in your code. You can use these macros to print the git information at runtime. Finally, ensure that your build environment is set up correctly on both Windows and Linux. This way, the git commands will work seamlessly. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To include the git commit hash or branch name in your C or C++ source code, you can automate this during your build process. A common command is git describe, which helps generate version information. For example, the X264 project uses a script to generate version information based on the Git repository state. It counts commits and checks for modifications. The output of this script defines version macros that can be used in your code, showing both the version and the commit hash. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Here's a simple solution to include the git commit hash and a local modifications flag in your C or C++ source code. First, create a shell script to update the version info. Next, include the generated header file in your C source code. This allows you to access the Git version information. Finally, 
use a conditional directive to print the Git version when you run your program. This will display the commit hash and any local modifications. When you execute your program, it will output the Git version like this, EE4F307-30. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To include the git commit hash and branch name in your C++ source code, you can modify your dot profile. This method works with Q5.14. You can then define these variables in your build settings. This allows you to access the git branch, hash, and build timestamp in your code. In your main function, you can check for version flags and print the Git information. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To include git commit hashes or branch names in your C or C++ source files, you can generate these details using a shell script or a program that runs git commands. This can be integrated into your build automation tool like Makefile or Ninja. Projects like Bisman and RefPersys automatically include their git IDs in the executable, which can be displayed with a version command. This is a practical example of the approach. Configuring your IDE to use a specific build automation tool varies by IDE. For Eclipse CDT users, the FAQ provides helpful insights on managing builds. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions and hopefully found that solution that you're looking for. If we did, please, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.